This video is showing you how to set up Netus E3 as a repeater by using WPS button for easy setup. Plug Netus E3 on the power outlet close to your main router. Wait for 30 seconds and let E3 start up. When you see the power light is on, WPS and signal light are turning off, press WPS button below the power light. Go to your main router, press the WPS button as well. Make sure the WPS indicator light is flashing too. You will see the WPS light is flashing. When you will see E3 WPS light turns off, signal light becomes solid blue, it means the setup is completed, and Netus E3 has connected to your main router successfully. Move E3 to the right spot. Ideally, E3 should be placed in the middle of your main router and place you have poor signal. After plug E3 on the power outlet, the signal light should become solid blue. This means it is a good location. If you see the signal light is red, it means the E3 location is too far from main router, please move it closer. Once you have right location for E3, you can open your computer or smartphone. Open Wi-Fi setting, looking for the expender's wireless signal name, which should be your main router wireless name plus 2.4 GEXT or 5 GEXT. Connect to this wireless network, and its password will be your main router's password. Once connected, you can enjoy E3 extended Wi-Fi to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zone at home. Thank you for purchasing Netus products.